In the United States Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Coast Guard and Air Force, a guidon is a military standard that company, battery, troop or platoon-sized detachments carry to signify their unit designation and branch, corps affiliation or the title of the individual who carries it. A basic guidon can be rectangular, but sometimes has a triangular portion removed from the fly known as swallow-tailed. Topic. Significance The significance and importance of the guidon is that it represents the unit and its commanding officer. When the commander is in, his or her guidon is displayed for everyone to see. When the commander leaves for the day, the guidon is taken down. It is an honor to be the guidon carrier for a unit, known as a guidon bearer or guide. He or she stands in front of the unit alongside of the commander or the commander's representative, and is the rallying point for troops to fall into formation when the order is given. In drill and ceremonies, the guidon and commander are always in front of the formation. The guidon is a great source of pride for the unit, and several military traditions have developed around it, stemming back from ancient times. Any sort of disgrace toward the guidon is considered a dishonor of the unit as a whole, and punishment is typical. For example, should the guidon bearer drop the guidon, they must fall with it and perform punishment, often in the form of push-ups. Other units may attempt to steal the guidon to demoralize or antagonize the unit. Veteran soldiers know not to give up the guidon to anyone outside their unit, but new recruits may be tempted into relinquishing it by a superior, especially during a unit run. Topic: By branch Topic Army As described in Chapter 6 of Army Regulation 840-10, guidons are swallow-tailed marker flags in branch of service colors, measuring 20 inches at the hoist by 27 inches at the fly, with the swallow-tail end forked 10 inches Previously guidons were made of wool bunting, and if serviceable these older versions may still be used. Current guidons are made of heavyweight rayon banner cloth. Old guidons show letters and numerals reversed as if printed through on the reverse of the guidon. Current guidons are made so that letters and numerals read correctly on both sides. In general, the following army units are entitled to guidons, lettered companies, troops, and batteries of regiments and separate battalions, separate numbered TO&E companies, and headquarters elements of groups, brigades, divisions, corps, commands, schools, and similar organizations. Lettered companies troops and batteries in the cavalry and field artillery respectively of battalions squadrons in the cavalry have guidons displaying the branch insignia, the company letter, and the battalion and regimental numbers. The base color of the guidon is the first named color of the applicable branch, e.g. scarlet for field artillery, with the letters, numerals and insignia applied in the second named color of the branch, e.g. yellow for field artillery. For companies of separate battalions, the branch insignia is centered on the guidon between the battalion number above and the company letter below. For companies of battalions of regiments, the number above the insignia is that of the regiment, the number of the battalion is vertically centered between the insignia and the hoist. Groups use diagonal stripes of the branch's secondary color. Separate numbered TO&E companies have guidons with their numerical designation under the branch insignia, e.g. the guidon of the 380th Quartermaster Company is buff with the insignia of the Quartermaster Corps over the numerals 380 in ultramarine blue, these being the named colors of the branch. Headquarters companies of groups, brigades, divisions and corps have guidons of a design corresponding to that of their organizational flag, e.g. the guidon of a headquarters battery of a field artillery brigade or fires brigade would be vertically divided, scarlet and yellow, with the brigade's shoulder sleeve insignia centered, headquarters elements of army commands, agencies, garrisons, centers, schools, depots and miscellaneous organizations are authorized guidons of distinctive design and colors. Generally these guidons follow the design of the unit's organizational flag. Various units not oriented to a specific branch, e.g. U.S. Army garrisons, have a teal blue guidon with the branch immaterial insignia the coat of arms of the U.S. within a ring in yellow. Exceptions to the use of branch colors for guidons are found in the infantry and cavalry. 
The infantry branch colors are light blue and white, but infantry guidons have a field of old glory blue the same shade of blue as used for the canton of the U.S. national flag. The cavalry branch colors are yellow and dark blue. Cavalry guidons, however, are horizontally divided, scarlet over white, with troop letters and squadron, regimental numbers in white and scarlet, but no branch insignia. There are two types of guidons used by the Corps of Cadets at the United States Military Academy. Dress guidons are horizontally divided, golden yellow over silver gray, with the letters USCC centered between the regimental number on the upper stripe and the company letter on the lower stripe. Field guidons have the regimental number only. All letters and numerals are black. Initial entry training platoons carry colored guidons to signify what phase of training they have attained. The guidon bearer normally stands with the platoon guide when stationary and marches at the head of the column. Although IET guidons may have streamers attached, they are typically undecorated. Any unit citation, war service or campaign streamer may be attached to guidons. Guidon bearing elements of U.S. Army Regimental System units are entitled to display all streamers awarded to the regiment, with those earned by its own higher echelon battalion or squadron denoted by the addition of the earned honor device, an embroidered laurel wreath, at the fly. Streamers for guidons are 1 and 3 eighths by 24 feet 42 centimeters times 732 centimeters. .In recent years, the ongoing reorganization of the Army has led to the creation of new types of units, e.g. sustainment brigades and fires brigades, but generally their flags and guidons are of the pattern described above. <laughs> Component guidon chart Topic. Marine Corps A marine guidon is always rectangular, 22 by 28 inches 56 cm x 71 cm, with a scarlet field and gold lettering, and an eagle, globe, and anchor centered. Recruit training units do not have any branch of service indication on their guidons. Boot camp platoon guidons only display the platoon number, such as 3081, in yellow, gold against a scarlet background. During the first phase of training i.e., before initial drill, the guidance foreground and background colorations are exchanged, yielding a red platoon number against a yellow, gold background. Fleet Marine Forces units have FMF emblazoned above the Marine emblem, non-infantry and artillery reserve units display USMCR, while all infantry, artillery, and active units carry a USMC. The regimental level numeral will be displayed in the lower left corner, unless a higher or lower command numeral provides better identification for example, a battalion HQ company would display the battalion's numeral instead of the regiment. The company level designation letter, abbreviated title, or number will be in the lower right corner. Charlie Company 1st Battalion 7th Marines. Suicide Charlie is one of the only units authorized a second guidon in the United States Marine Corps. Charlie Company 1 7th aka, Suicide Charlie, is authorized a white guidon with a skull and crossbones. Fox Company 2nd Battalion 5th Marines, Blackhearts, are authorized white markings on a black guidon, crossed rifle and shattered paddle, and a car bar inset behind a black heart logo, skull wearing camouflage, boonie cover, superimposed at center above. Black Hearts. The emblem is also seen on the company's black T-shirts which are authorized for company PT uniform in place of a green T-shirt. Versions of this emblem also have the words, Special Operations Capable, across the bottom. No additional attachments are authorized, including streamers, bands, or the like. Some units incorporate additional mascots into unofficial guidance. Navy Navy ships and squadrons may display a unit guidon while parading ashore. It measures 20 and an eighth by 27 and three quarters inches 51 centimeters times 70 centimeters with a 10 inches 25 centimeters swallowtail, is blue with white text, and depicts a fouled anchor within a diamond identical to the insignia of the naval infantry flag. Prior to World War II, a red flag was used for naval artillery units. 
Companies of the Brigade of Midshipmen attending the United States Naval Academy carry a gold guidon with blue numerals, officer candidate school companies carry blue guidons with white lettering and a white bulldog. <laughs> Air Force In the Air Force, guidons are ultramarine blue wool and gold in nylon, nylon, or polyester bunting, 20 by 27 inches 51 centimeters times 69 centimeters to end of the swallowtail, and forked 10 inches 25 centimeters. An Air Force yellow American Eagle design appears on the front of the guidon and on the reverse side as if printed through. Above the design is the designation of the parent unit, below it is the designation of the squadron. When the number of the squadron and the parent organization are the same, the lower line indicates only the alphabetical portion of the squadron designation. Numerals and lettering are yellow, from 1 and 3 quarters by 3 and a half inches 4.4 centimeters times 8.9 centimeters tall, and in varying widths. Lettering and numerals appear on both sides of the guidon, reading from left to right on both sides. Campaign and service streamers earned by a unit are displayed on that unit's flag or guidon. Topic. See also Colors, standards and guidance Flags of the United States Armed Forces Fanion